All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on YouTube, and as always, everyone live here with us on Twitch, welcome back to another Arena League qualifier. We are here with your daily dose of MK1 Entertainment, and today we are actually here with your daily dose of insight in death Mortal Kombat 1 knowledge because the boy, the database, is blessing us once again, just like every other Friday, <laughs> with his commentary vl happy to have you on the mic brother how do we feel today are you ready feeling great you know like thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi everyone hope you're having a great day you and your friends and your family and your <sighs> loved ones as always and always a pleasure to uh provide an update the database uh every show really literally every uh arena like lately on fridays you know yes and uh today oh boy <laughs> today's line it's gonna up. be good vl but vl do you want to know what's yeah. actually crazy we're already mm -hmm. half through another season again like it honestly yeah. feels like yesterday where we launched season four where we had these insane season finales for an entire week of season three but man time really flies and it is wild to see i mean how the community evolves how the meta is evolving in the last weeks and months as well we slowly get these little adjustments from the nrs side of things so i can't wait to see what is going to happen with the game in the near future in the next weeks in the next months what patch are we actually getting but First of all, I hope that everyone out there is having a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. I see Jeremy already coming in extra hard with that support. But boy, let's talk about the lineup VL. Because one of our favorites is finally back after people harassed us for weeks on the YouTube side. They're like, where is Moody? And I'm like, man, I have no idea. I think Moody is playing a little bit of Tekken lately. But happily, the boy is back today. Moody versus DJ. Moody versus DJ, which means very likely going to see that Melina versus mm -hmm. uh, probably Katana from uh, DJ. So. Yes. And, and now now that I think about it, I think it's actually a team kill. I believe they're both from the Relief and Fear. <laughs> that is uh, a good plan. point. It is. I mean, it is a phenomenal matchup on paper. We have literally two Edenian specialists in here. Moody known as the most technical Melina we have in these events. But on the other side, we have DJ playing on the PC side exclusively. That means he has never faced any PlayStation players here in our competitive events. But these two is already a guaranteed banger in round number one. In my opinion, this could go the full distance. I can see a game five in this one. I don't know if you agree with me, VL. Oh, sure. I agree 100%. It's, it's going to be some world-class MK, and that is only the beginning. We have King Gambler versus Hollow Verde, the NA showdown of today's card. That means Johnny Goro versus that insanely strong Kitana from the NA side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard like... <laughs> I, was okay, about go, to go, go, go. I think match number three, you can tell us a little bit about Sensei, right? Oh boy, yeah. Sensei, one of the best Liu Kang players around um, from England. And he will take on Vazia. I forgot from which country he is from. He was a Scarlet region. Loyalist. Yes. Oh, CIS region. Okay, so he was a Scarlet Loyalist in MK11. One of the best ones on the PC side, if I am not mistaken, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, like... According to what you told me, apparently he plays Ashra in this game, but I'm I've never seen sure, him play yes. MK1, so we could be in for a surprise against Zenzei Liu Kang. We never know. It is, um, Vasya has always been a very, very strong player competitive wise. We haven't seen that much of Vasya lately, unfortunately, but today I am happy mm -hmm. that we can finally make it happen. Here in set number three, we have Goku versus Milo. That means two young players clashing mm -hmm. again in our events. Middle East versus Germany, Smoke versus most likely Gears. And then last but not least, since the players are already oh joining our lobby, Video games, yo, versus Faisal. Potentially the highlight set of the day for a lot of people out there for obvious reasons. It is literally the top of their specific region fighting each other. VL. Do you want to make a, you know, do you want to make a suggestion here? Who do you have? Well, I have no idea because, <laughs> like, quite a few matchups are possible uh, between, like, VGY and Faisal. And I would not even, I would, even like a Peacemaker mirror match I would, would not even surprise me either. Like, really. I can definitely see it. But you know what, chat? You better put your seatbelts on real quick because Moody and DJ are in the lobby with us. And that means we are diving right into the PC action here in Get set number going. one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being here. And thank you for your support. <laughs> Kitana, Melina. 
Here that is go. what everyone expected. The battle of mm -hmm. mains here, Melina and Kitana. Chameleon. Woshi Academy. I want Shao and Reiko. Do not fail me. I'm always asking you the same question, VL, when we have you on the mic. What do you think about this matchup? Like, Kitana and Melina, in my opinion, two very strong characters in MK1. Do you think someone is winning this particular matchup here? Um, no, they both hit really, they both have really good with punishing tools and fantastic damage uh, with, the, with the chemists they're both using currently. Moody with Chameleon and uh, DJ with the, um, with the Jax cameo. So... But this might be the first time I see like Kitana, I mean Melina Chameleon against Kitana Jax. I usually see like Kumla obviously on the Melina side, but after the Lao Nurse, I'm not that surprised that Moody has been like focusing more and more on Chameleon uh, than before. Sorry to interrupt you, Via, but I'm already speechless just watching this first round of this match. I mean, mm -hmm. these two, they are what a so confirm. good. It is literally the top of the top competing here in the arena. And look mm -hmm. at these makes up from Moody conversions left and right. That's with a soft knockdown, that's plus. Are oh, we mashing? Why not? Checking each other here and there. A little bit of understanding 2 4, but DJ not making the mistake of over committing to the full string. I'm saying that because it's a dialing string. A little bit on the sweep. No way. Oh, wow. Oh, he he dropped it via. Oh, has to pay the oh, price no, for it. No, no commitment shot. on both sides. Yeah, that could have been 1 1 fatal blow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is. I kind of feel bad for DJ right here, like not going for the the proper punish and the proper confirm and just like that Moody getting uh, another chance and taking that first round. These conversions are just out mm -hmm. of this world once again. Moody display mm -hmm. what he can do with that character. Yep. And that's guaranteed. Yep. What, what a optimal punish. Up. Yes, great yeah, awareness the from Moody here. this time. Absolutely. And it's not real at all, and there's the mix. Watching the breakout of DJ. What are you looking in control right now? X low side gets blocked, and there's the NT air with the Mitoless high side. First game goes to Moody. Yes, sir. Okay, and what can we say? Our arena champion is finally back. Of course, Moody known for that incredible run he had in season two, where he won our entire PC championship. And I mean, it was well deserved, Fiel. He is literally up there alongside the best in the entire world. And I'm happy 100%. to have him back. Well, my favorite thing about like Moody is like seeing how far he's he, he's come, like from from the MKX days, you know. Like I'm really, really happy. Like he's like getting the recognition that he's deserving now. Definitely. And as expected, DJ, no switching characters, no cameos, sticking with Katana Jax. We tracked Shang Tsung to an island. Capturing him would be a most dangerous game. Round one. Fight. Okay, here we go. Round number two is starting. Moody up 1-0 in Moody this one. Checks. But I still think this is going the full distance. I can smell that game five in here. Yeah. On the back too, but it's away there. There's the mix. Yep, four two into the uh, chameleon bar roll. I'm quite. Uh, can I say shocked here when I watch our chat prediction? Eighty-seven percent on Moody. I didn't expect the prediction to be that one-sided. I can understand like Moody. Oh, I don't know if this was intentional uh, bar roll, but he's gonna pay for it. He chooses not to break. That was kind of that was actually kind of cheap, and the Fernando barely missing, but. That manages to force the break out of Moody. Safe on block. Oh, he got caught. I don't know why would you press the button, but doesn't spend another bar though. And the poke. Yes. Smashing, because why not? I'm not trying to get Moody. I'm not trying to let Moody out of the corner, said Bye. DJ. And it pays off. Immediately armory, like turning it to a launcher thanks to the Jack's backbreaker. That's plus. Yeah, Melina having one of. The best sweeps in the game in terms of frame data. Ooh, gets caught by the second overhead of the of the bar roll. Keeps checking it. Oh, what a quick challenge from DJ, and that's gonna be a breaker. Yeah, this yeah, you better break to this hurt. one. Both characters known yeah. for some big boy damage numbers with every single touch. 
100%. And DJ gets caught. Not blocking right on wake up. Oh, nice block on that one though. And he's actually dead. Wait, he should be dead, right? If he doesn't drop that, that's I'm not pretty sure he's going to connect. Yeah, he's there dead. it is, and the scaling yeah, is, is not going to be too sure. rough. DJ Absolutely answers not. back everyone. We have a match. But watching these two go crazy, well, I, I expect both of them to make it into our season finale, like 100%. 100%. On the PC side of things, at least. <clears throat> and I say it every single time when we host these PC sets here on a daily basis, I cannot wait for King of the Hill crossplay. When we are finally wow. able to merge all these leagues into one big event, well, this is going to be the my, my happiest King day, you know? Oh, 100%. And this is going to be like... This is going to... That, that will be when Rip Serena is going to be able to take it to the extreme. Yes. Him. And it's gonna be so and, interesting to watch as well. Like, and the special and, and the special events as well, like you know, with the character bands or you having to step in for a certain amount of subs. Just imagine that and King of the Hill cross play ball. I just want to see PlayStation, like the of ideas, Xbox, just, PC, know. all of them in one tournament. Mm -hmm. So we can finally settle it once and for all which platform has yeah. the best players. Uh, safe on block. And as you wave being I think only minus three on block. Good bait on the armor, that's gonna be a big punish. And Jax also got hit, so that means even higher damage for Moody. 40%, yeah, he kept it simple. Drop the conversion, was it a reset? Oh, you tell me. Called oh, the Lebanese reset. <laughs> <laughs> There's the sword for. Oh, micro that was a quick micro. Yeah, that's a smooth micro deck. Gets the backbreaker, does he break? I don't think he should. Yeah, he's not. And the invincible wake up. Smart way to avoid launch. the Jax cameo as well. Beautiful mm -hmm. situational awareness right. from Moody. Fight. We go for the fully delayed marble, which is actually safe. We see so much I of that Jax. Yeah, he's just trying to get that un that guaranteed damage, basically, thanks to those ground pounds. There is again the fully charged ball from Moody. Yeah, full screen. Mm -hmm. A little bit of zoning going on. Once again, Jax coming in, but Moody yeah. able to dodge in time. And there's some case by the ground pound, but so does DJ. Pretty even so far. Okay, because why not? Sweep. There's the throw. Side switch. Yep, and we are fighting for the taller throw. position. Nice swift punish. What a reaction. Immediately snapping them back to. Sweep again. I thought the DJ like wakes up a lot with delay with delay wake up buttons. So for now he's getting away with it, but if Moody catches up to that, oh, that's good. Confirm. Yeah, but once oh, he again, drops it down. Drop the yeah, under. Moody, he's... honestly, like he... he mentioned in the beginning, a little nice bit rusty. I'm in mean, the full four. Jump back, goes for the EX Losa, which I think is guaranteed after the yeah after the second hit of the glaive. And that's gonna be it. Yeah, he can just block. Yeah, there's not much like DJ was gonna be able to do because the time was about to run out. And just like that, 2-1. Moody, Moody is on the match point. Melina wins. <laughs> Random thing. Look what he <laughs> look what he wrote. <laughs> 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 but Chad, for everyone who potentially just tuned in, first of all, as always, a warm welcome to the arena. We are back with some incredible MK1 action tonight. If you missed the lineup, let me show it once again. After this, we have King Gambler versus Hollow Verde. We have Sensei versus Vasya, Goku Milo, and then last but not least, the blockbuster of the day. Video Games Yo is gonna meet Faisal in our PlayStation League. Shang Tsung, I'll skin him! Mission, sister. We need him alive. Round one, fight. So much poking going on. 
And I know the DJ, I don't know, maybe like he's afraid of trying to flawless block the standing one too. From Melina, we haven't seen it being flawless blocked yet. It makes it go from being negative 5 to minus 15, if I'm not mistaken. Whenever oh, you talk about me. frame data VL, I just straight up believe you. You know, I, I'm not even <laughs> questioning it. <laughs> and that is plus, and Modi is like, you know what? I'm gonna go for the YOLO special move after the Pulse because he's about to get chipped out. Right. Just like that, pretty convincing first round for Modi. Oh, there's the mix. Perfect confirm with the fan left. Mm, big damage, and now and they're the right again. after. Yes, DJ has to break this one. Yeah. He's gonna be able to get good damage by, him, like by himself. Just like that, almost 42%. Now it's pretty much guaranteed. Oh, yes. Not ready so for it. No row. tech attempt at all. Mm -hmm. Nice block. No, wrong punish though. He tried to micro there standing too. I think back to would have punished it. This could come back to buy DJ. Nice confirm on that fourth one too. And of course it forces the breakout of Moody who's trying to end this. Oh, he got shimmy. He gets caught. Yeah, he got shimmy. That's gonna be it. This he's is gonna be gonna enough. Melina fake yeah, blow damage. I think we all agree this shit does not scale at all. Mm -hmm. He should be dead despite the 10% Jax bonus that I mean, the health bonus Jax offers. And yeah, that's going to be a 3 1 for Moody for the DJ. That is gonna seal his faith here in match number one. Congratulations to Moody. It is an absolute blast to have you back in this league. I gotta say that. Mm -hmm. And DJ, I mean, we don't have to talk about that Kitana anymore. Very, very impressive yeah, from course. both of them. I hope you guys out there enjoyed it just as much as we did. We have to mm -hmm. talk about the lineup. Let's take a look what's coming up next. Uh, Gambler versus Hollow. <laughs> which means very likely Johnny Cage versus Kitana. Very likely. Johnny Go, I would, I would assume, from King Gambler. Unless he has another cameo in store for that matchup. And Hollow, I've never seen him play MK1, so I don't know which cameo he uses. Does he use Jax, which obviously is very commonly used among Katana players? Or maybe a different cameo like Kung La, for example. I wouldn't be surprised either. So I guess we're about to find out. Let's have a look at it together. I'm very, very curious about the chat prediction later on as well. But with King Gamla, we literally have one of the strongest NA players back in our league. Hollow Verde on the other side, a very, very capable Kitana main as well. So we get back to back Kitana action here in today's event. I'm joining the lobby right now since I cannot send the invites on my own since this is an NA to NA showdown. Oh, yeah. Wait, did, did, is it normal that the, the, the Discord stream uh, ended? I got you in one second. Yes, since ah, I switched yes, to I PlayStation you. now, you should have this one. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course, yeah. Let's see. And we're diving right in, chat. Struggling black in the chat, rooting for King Gabla. I see you. Hi, this struggling black. Welcome to the arena. <clears throat> Ouch. And with King Gambler, we literally have another neutral monster in MK1. Like he he has always been known for that very very strong whip punish game. Good reaction time, known as one of the best in the world for a reason. Yeah. And there's the first big opener. Oh, has the match begun? Because, like, I actually can't see it. <laughs> you should see it on Discord. Yeah. The Discord stream it hasn't, hasn't started on my end. I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh no. It should start now. Otherwise, you you might have to. to you might have to reconnect there. Yeah. yeah, I might have to. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this right now, real quick. So I'll be right back. Sorry about it. But, yeah. In the meantime, we see some ass whopping sponsored by King Gambler himself. Push Oliver into the corner right there, man. Okay, 
sneaking in the low. But the problem is just King Gambler's defense every single time. This man knows every single option select in MK1. Very hard to open him up. I am back. Sorry about it, everybody. No. Don't even worry about it, VL. King Gambler is putting in work right now, and we see the pressure on Holo Verde. Mm -hmm. That sweep. Every time I see that sweep from Katana, I'm like, bro, whoa, they're smoking. <laughs> One of the best sweeps in the game. Good pickup from, uh, from Gambler. Spends the bar to increase the damage of the Shadow Kick, but however, yet Shadow Kick. Has significantly more damage scaling. Nice flawless block, by the way, from Holo staying alive. Gambler cannot get thrown one more time, otherwise he's dead. Spacing. Gambler playing it safe, abusing the Johnny Schmoof. Oh, that was a shadow kick! That was a shadow kick. That was 100%. Oh no, the ground pound hitting a Holo himself. And just like that, King Gambler's gonna take the first game. Takes the first one. Yeah, that instant jump kick was 100... It, it surely was a missing point from Gambler. That was probably supposed to be a, a shadow kick here. <laughs> so for those so of you who... Just uh, you know, himself. <laughs> just killed himself. <laughs> 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 for those of you who uh, noticed why like that shadow kick into Gore did not kill, because uh, Gambler had EXed the shadow kick. Yes. Which occurs significantly uh, bigger damage scaling, uh, even though it does more damage by itself. But they probably like did that in order to balance uh, the damage that you would be able to get from uh, from that move. Here we go. Next round started. The from the back too. And he gets the jail. Gets that first mm -hmm. hit. Yeah, he gets the jail from that poke. Just standing to one, which is a very easy jail for Johnny Cage. And that's safe. Gonna do it again, yep. Nice parry, and he gets the punish as well. So gets 29%. Good matchup knowledge. All Armoring right out <laughs> of that pressure. You can also duck it as well. It has a high at the very end. And you can interrupt it as well. And down for check again from uh, from Gambler. Who's looking pretty comfortable so far. Man, VL, while you were reconnecting, I just talked about how mm -hmm. strong Gambler's defense is. Like, if you're not mm -hmm. playing a true mix-up character, it is so hard to crack through mm -hmm. that. Yeah, 100 percent One thing like you gotta have to remember, nice matchup knowledge, beautiful parry. But missed times the macro dash, and there's the counter poke. The one thing not to do against Gambler, against Johnny Go in general, is to counter poke him. There's the hype mode activated. Hello, Verde, fighting for his life, trapped in the life. collar, oh, back dead. against the wall. Oh, we didn't have the Gore in time, but still just the mid, the easy mid check from him. And that's going to be it. Another game for him. 2 0 for King Gambler. Very, very strong. And Grey Fox is saying taking a break from MK1 to play Dragon's Dogma, but still got to show support for the best MK1 channel. You guys are way too kind as always. Thank you so much for being here, for spending time with us, and of course, for helping us out with every single subscription, gifted sub, donation. You guys know the deal at this point. Thank you for allowing us to do these tournaments for and with the community on a daily basis for such a long time already three and a half years via yeah it's like time flies bro like it's about to be four years pretty soon which is actually crazy now that i think about it and since it only started with a couple of people like being in the king of the hill just we generally just casually and look where we are now wait is it, is it time for the records. peacemaker wait yeah i just saw Ying. Man, like Chris Smith, the aka the that Peacemaker. With your life story. How about we make it a streaming series? Round one, fight. So but King Gambler does not look impressed so far. Clean anti air saying, don't even try that gimmick. Yeah, don't even try that. And he gets, gets wrong on that one. With the raise the roof from Goro. And nice read on the 
torpedo from Gambler blocking it. And the campaign for it as well. Ow! Oh, that almost was 41%. This man is a little bit too confident today, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Anti gravity. Not falling for it, this King Gambler. It's a full gap though this time. Low bus on. Mm-hmm. And he gets caught. We might have. Uh, oh, nice side switch. Yeah, there it is. Every single encounter, King Gambler magically has the upper hand. Mm-hmm. Another phone grab comes in. Did you see the chat prediction, by the way? We are 99% on King wow. Gambler in this one. More than half a million Uh-oh. channel points. Good luck on the mid. Which is, by the way, punishable on Flutter's lock. And there's the guess on the command grab. Yamla said no. And he optimized as well with that 4 3 link. And that was a literal speedrun. Mm -hmm. King Gambler showing us once again why he is actually considered as one of the best players in the entire world. GG's. Mm -hmm. GG's to both players indeed. Uh, Law, uh, I'm talking about the 2 2 4 and the 4 1 1 4. The, those two drop mid kicks that Peacemaker has, they become unsafe on Slaughter's block. <clears throat> and just like that, it is time for set number three of today's mm -hmm. card. And that means VL, one of your good friends, Sensei, is yeah, back Sensei. in action in the arena after a long, long time. You mentioned that Liu Kang, very strong here. One of the best in our EU region. Mm -hmm. For sure. Against Vazia from the CIS region. Invites have been sent to every single one of them. I'm pretty sure we're going to see mm -hmm. Ashra from Vasya. I think that's the character I remember from our Brett, last you're gonna, I'm an idiot. You're going to kill me for this. Instead of pressing the cross button on your invitation, I pressed the, the, <laughs> I pressed the square buttons and I deleted your invite. Don't even worry, well. I'm going to set this one again as quick as possible. After this, we have Goku versus Milo. And then last but not least, of course, the boy Jordan, the king of all general <laughs> Shaomans out there is mm -hmm. back in action versus Faisal and everyone is curious about what matchup we're gonna see in this one is it the peacemaker mirror potentially well I would love to see the peacemaker mirror match I mean like I said I'm only like this I only mentioned it so I'm not trying to get like people's hopes up but I'm genuinely curious to see what would happen <laughs> Lady Elmo, thank you so much for the prediction. Fruity, I saw that as well in the previous round. Thank you so much. And since the players are officially in the lobby, it's time to dive right into the next one. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed the competitive MK1 action so far. Vasya versus Sensei coming up. And of course, Sensei immediately going for Liu Kang. And we do see Ashra from Vasya with Serena cameo, of course. Like, without question, her best cameo, honestly. Alongside um, Kung Lao, and I, would, and I would say also alongside um, Sub Zero, but we don't see like we don't see that many Ashra Sub Zero, but in the right hands, that combination is filled. There we go, and of course Luke and Lao from Zenzi. I mean, I picked up already from Vazia with the Kia Blades, barely missing the, uh, the EX and the um, Astro Projection Ender. Oh, that comes in. Look at the EX flying kick here. Mm, looking for that overhead. Oh, Gets wow, we committed. Second hit, okay. Yeah, I guess Card, uh, not, not, probably not expecting maybe Vazia to commit with the YOLO uh, uppercut. There it is again, this time blocking it, trying to end here, but that jump kick, stuffing it. And then they get the pickup from that boss off. And here we go. This is what we know Luke Kang and Lao for. Strike Throw City. That's what the character is known for, of course, access to oh, that the armor out of cross range. Pause mark. Again, three falls back in a row. Nice block and the perfect punish. He's dead. What a, like, that was perfect patience. Yeah, great patience from Zenzei. Most people would have probably tried a match or jump uh, out of the room because they're not trying to have their meal being stolen. But Zenzei said, nah, I'm just going to sit here and block. And he paid, and it paid off. Vazia overcommitting to a. 
An actual projection, easy punish for Liu Kang, 6 frames standing 1. Let's go to the next round. As I, as I said, that he gets caught backdashing by the Kia Blades. And that's 38% gone, just like that. I mean, Ashra has some, some crazy damage output as well, no matter where you are yeah. on the screen, if you're in the corner, if you're mid-screen. Oh, sure. And again, the, the Bulova saw pick up. Goes for the grab, does buzz your break. Now goes for the, then they're going for the side switch, Fourth one down back four for the Oki. And Vazia says, like, get off me, with that triple armored uh, EX. Goes for oh Zenze was ready for the bait, but Vaz are cancelling it. Good awareness from both of them. And a 4-2 sniping Zenze out of a mm -hmm. noble saw. Very, very likely. Final round. One round apiece so far. Very even match. I like what I'm seeing from both. Yeah, we've seen like Liu Kang and both and Liu Kang and Ashra. Undisputedly among the best characters in the game. Comes the fourth guy. I like the neutral we see from Sensei. Yeah. That's for the full string. And there's the overhead. I think Zenzai was trying to duck, maybe expecting a 4 2. Speaking of which, there it is. Barely it's, missing. It's definitely very hard to out neutral Ashra in MK1. Just by it the way is. her buttons are working, right? She has so many great long range tools. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, he went for the delay. He just wanted to run away. Like, on the only things that they could have. Maybe try to do it for a punish. Oh, God, Buzz, you're not blocking after that poke. And Sensei, okay. decent position, but Vasya has access to Fatal Blow. Whiff on the fourth floor, but all oh, good. Whiff on the overhead, and that's self standing. Mm. One, two, one from Zenze taking the first round. That uh, first game, excuse me. Just like that, one up for him with the Luke. Okay. Curious about a potential character switch from Vasya end. But right now, of Sensei, I mean, I like what I see. VL talked about it. That Liu Kang is dangerous. Known mm -hmm. in the EU community, playing in so many different competitive events as well. So, Sensei, we're happy to have you today. <clears throat> After this, by the way, the youngster battle goku versus milo smoke milo. versus gear is most likely middle east versus germany Nothing do you know it really remains gear so does he just like yours among other characters uh, no so that's very interesting the thing is milo he, he plays like the entire cast but most of the time it uh -huh. honestly is gears okay I so i would definitely say that is his main character <laughs> nah, understood <laughs> As I say that, Vaz, you're landing at 42%. And scripted the chat with the first time Ashra. message saying, not gonna lie, I'm watching this at work again. We had that conversation throughout the last streams. We had 60% of the people well, here people are literally watching us at work. <laughs> right now, Vaz is just bullying Zenze this round. That was a, a ghetto flawless. <laughs> round literally. Two. Fight. And there is again, then they landed like that slightly delayed but saw a lot against Vazia. Oh, missing the head confirmed though. Oh, gets caught back dashing. Maybe expected to stagger or something? That's a breaker. We're playing neutral. We're abusing that Liu Kang low poke. Yep. So the string right here. Back grab. Nice block on the 4 2, but no punish though. Forward for staggers. Vazia not getting shimmied. Beautiful throw. Back grab. I think Vazia might have tried to back dash. Yeah. Just for the safe jump. Ooh, that's, that was a misinput. That was 100% a misinput from Vazia. I think he wanted to go for the armor, but he got the 4 2 backs and it still ended up working. Now, I don't know if this is gonna kill. Oh, I think he might be dead. This is gonna be like 50%. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. That's 50%, yeah. And, uh, and Serena taking the hit, and there it is again. Ooh, mm, I like the that's... idea from Vazia, but 
The loser. Mm -hmm. Right. I think as they try to go for the flank kick, the middle is flank kick, Buffer just didn't come out. There's the 4 2 again. Snapping Zenze out of a fireball attempt, most likely. Tries to lock him yeah, down there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lu Kang definitely has a really hard time getting out of the corner against Ashra. Especially if you don't know how to do the Assassin's Creed combos. Perfectly climbed over. And I say that the portal comes in. He's dead, right? Yes, he is. 38%. We have and a match. Once One again, everything tied up here. Two strong players, very, very Ashra. even matched. <clears throat> and can everyone in my chat please stop talking about food real quick? I'm so freaking hungry, dear. <laughs> Bro, you know what? Bro, I can I can talk about being hungry like I still <laughs> haven't like eaten the store because you know obviously like true. fasting has actually ended. So don't so like don't don't give me that yeah, right. We, we should ban every <laughs> single one of them in the chat. One well, one. Well, you know uh, what? Let's this... get back to the MK gameplay. <laughs> Before I read the commentary, anyone in mod, uh, please, uh, if you could terminate this um, Alex guy being an absolute troll right now with the food. <laughs> but as I say, that was uh, landing a thirty-one percent combo into a, into a check attempt into Kia blades. We see Zenzei landing like trying to down for you a lot, but. Against Ashra, this is quite dangerous to do because um, that 4 3 is a very easy, low crushing move to land. Round two. Fight. Fireball up for finding the uh, Akia Blades. And Zvazia gets Shimit this time. More forward for the Liu Kang the B okay. and B. We're just armoring out of it this time. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that, Boulder. Man has six more hours to go fasting. <laughs> oh, micro deck right here underneath the throw, standing one to two into the EX down four four, uh, down four three, excuse me. Go find the grab, gets away with it. No punish, both yeah, no had punish the opportunity that, yeah. there. Yeah, Vazia was definitely in range to punish that, but he probably didn't expect Zenze to do it like from this close. Grab. Does he go for the side switch? Yes, he does. And he does get it. Goes with a dangerous ender as well. Nice block and on the three. is very, Buzz very solid with blocking these overheads every single time. Gets barely and opened up. Look at it. No punish. no punish. Oh, no. He's going to mash his knee. Yeah, of course. I would definitely have matched as well. Final round right here. And as I say, that Gushma with the gifted sub. Thank you very much. Or to barely getting snapped in like a head with that low bus saw, but he gets hit by the Kia Blade. That's an easy confirm for Ashra. 32%. And there's the overhead, the Finally, 4 again. It works. That's what Vasya needs. Mm -hmm. Has the lively to play with. Doesn't really have to overcommit. Mm -hmm. And the flank here getting like. Ooh, nice. Gets the pickup. Does he spend the fatal blow? I can he would. Doesn't go for it yet. Oh, that could have been a big guy he didn't believe. He's still gonna get the grab. Does he spend the fatal blow or still not? I... Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, realizing it. scaling would have been too rough to kill on this one. Oh, wow, he just did that. This man just did that with a straight face. Poking to down 4 3, and there's the EX Astral Projection. Armoring through a low boss saw. And 2 1 for Vazia. This man just went. He just did it. Man, that was is... very, very ballsy. Down 1 EX, down 4 3. Low Corridor in the chat is saying, why is he not using yeah, Kenmo? Yeah, not yeah, Corridor, yeah. Of course you can talk big here in the chat, even <laughs> though you're too afraid to play in the arena. See right through it, brother. Do things you can, you oh, know, he can like, come in here, VL, with all the tips in the world, <laughs> giving instructions to the players, and at the same time being too afraid to compete here. <laughs> Yeah, on this one, I gotta admit that Zenze did the, try to spend his save his fatal roll a bit too much, and he's going for the chameleon now. Cameo switch. Okay, 
the back grab. Does he land it? Yes, he does. After the fan lift. Gets the OK off of this. Oh, big whiff on the standing one, two, one. And he's gonna eat 38%, I wanna say. Yeah, 38%. And the standing to two barely snapping him. That's blocked. Oh no, what a missing point, but at least get, at least he doesn't get punished for it. Oh, this is close. Sensei back against the wall, and you don't want to be there. Yeah. Really. Not versus Ashra. Not against Ashra. Yeah, definitely not against Ashra for sure. Oh, he tried it. What? What just happened? <laughs> oh, he, he. Oh, I see. I see. Never mind. Never mind. Sensei tried to poke into a bar roll. He tried to, you know, give Vazia a taste of his own medicine for the previous game, but. Vazio was able to arm it through because the X back point is triple armored. And there's the back grab combo again. That was and smart the armor just again. to get out of the mm -hmm. corner as well. I like the decision making from Vazia. That is mm -hmm. not a punish. Too much pushback. Yeah, too much pushback indeed. And I think Lucan can only like whiff punish that armored move really. Like, with like trying to jump on a read. But obviously, Vazda can recognize the jump and cancel the back four too, so... Which makes, uh, makes Ashwa, in my opinion, top three best armored move in the game. Sensei, he tries to get this to a game five. There is the throw. Yeah, he's trying. Wait, oh, how much fear? Say that, this is gonna hurt. He's gonna spend Fedable, isn't he? Yeah, totally understand. We should be looking at 40... I wanna say 48, 49%. If not 50, because there's hardly any scaling involved here. Let's take this a look. We already up. passed the 40% mark. Yeah, 47. 47. Oh, no buffer though. Zenze uh, like trying to bait the parry. And oh, there it no, is. We that wake is unfortunate. Up with violence. Yeah, wake up back for two. And I think Zenze tried to mix him, but he, had he gone for a different button or maybe even a down on an armor read, he would have been able to hit Vazia, but. It's not gonna pay off this time. Three one for Vazia. Oh, that is that you is. Just... Play. That was really good. That was intense. Uh, that was generally enjoyable. Very enjoyable. I was about to mention that VL. That was a phenomenal set. A great start here in today's event. And Moonpie, thank you so much for the ten euro donation. You guys are way too kind. Thank you so much for supporting our players every single time. And now we have to take a look at our lineup card. We are trying to get that hype train started together. Coming up next, Young Milo versus Goku. Round one, fight. Oh, Chameleon, okay. From Goku and Reiko Darius. I haven't seen Reiko Darius in ages. Well, because, you know, Tremor. I recently talked right about here. that. I don't know what happened to Reiku in particular, but no one plays that character mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah, I don't even know, because, like, character did not really get hit with any gigantic nerf or anything like that, as far as I'm concerned. And as I say that, with two oh. bars, Goku hits him with 37%. Oh, I can't recommend that. In the chat with the five gifted subs to the community. Oh, here we Thank go. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. I can only say it once again. It helps so tremendously. So thank you. Two bars on that. It's quite the scale. Interesting. That's a very delayed forward grab, throw counter, which are unbreakable in this game, just like in second. Nice up block, but no punish though. And he messed up the cancel, that's gonna be fatal blow, isn't he? Wait, oh, Milo! No. What? No punish? Oh my goodness. No way, right? No way! Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, that's a, that's a choke and a half. That right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a, is a choke. And there's double, ooh, double overhead. I mean, actually triple. We see some, maybe some misinputs like on, on both sides. Oh, nice, nice single hit confirmed though. Got called Darius. Yep. Via is I have to interrupt you here because I don't know what's going on with our community right now. Chat, what happened? <laughs> Why is everyone going crazy all of a sudden? Rips ball that Lady <laughs> Elmo, and I can't find a username. Thank you guys so much for that. Yeah, maybe I could even order a pizza tonight. You know, as yeah, a sure, content creator. As I'm, as I'm taking over. 
Yeah, it's a cute time, bro. <laughs> I'm taking over. The community <laughs> saying, you know what, Rip? Today's dinner is our last year. And Big How Mama Frankie saying, you know what? Order some sushi. Oh, boy. Nice single hit confirm again. But does he get the fatal blow though? He does. He he was barely still in range. Amila said, I've learned my lesson. Not spending the fatal blow first time. I'm spending it this time. Like this time. Three. Yeah, what's good, Subby? How you doing? Welcome to the arena. Fight. Man, why is there it, a trade that, right here? whenever we have you on the mic, the, the people go crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah, you, you have that but magic, actually, that magic aura, you know? I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> Level 5 high play, Milo and Goku. And I think I see some tournament nerfs here in this set. Yeah, 100%. Which, of course, is completely fine. <laughs> I'm not thinking too bad having horrible nerfs. Oh, he tried to go for the uh, air juggle string. Barely missing. EX back, down back two. Nice block, but... Oh, he did... Uh, uh, I think he didn't get his micro dash, maybe? Super plus plus eight. Oh, we're mashing out of that. Ballsy from uh, Milo, but... There's the armor. Nice block, that is safe. Minus six. Double, that's, that's minus nine. I think that's minus nine. Oh my goodness, what a way to stop the slide. <laughs> EX bomb. That smoke chat. Brutality. Smoke wins. It is crazy how many young and strong players are there in this game. If I remember correctly, since I see Red Nose in the chat right now as well, I think Red Nose, mm -hmm. you're still pretty young too, right? I think Red Nose is yeah, like 18, maybe? I think. I'm not sure. Like, don't quote me on that, though. That is true, Elmo. Like, Thomas, aka Smoke, like, it might be wholesome, but boy, his brutal war. <laughs> yeah. And the boy t is in the, the chat with another five sub bomb. Thank you guys so much for the support. I know I sound like a broken record, but thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I see a character switch to, to Baraka Vial. I'm not even sure if I should switch back to the game now. Mm -hmm. The people on YouTube, they're just going to skip the video well. then. You know what? Let's do it anyway. <laughs> I Goku mean, it, it, wait, I, I just realized it's, it's Baraka Motaro. I have never seen someone using that variation before. I usually, I usually see, of course, Baraka Striker and sometimes Baraka Cyrax, but... Or Baraka Kino as well. And that's going to be an easy pickup from uh, Goku with that glaive. And so I say questions, Red knows I don't have a... I really don't have a main in this game. Oh, there's a micro dot, but missing the punish. Back on the back three two, but no punish on that. There's some turn of it, some nerves kicking in, as you said earlier. The chat right now, oh, they three, cannot four. believe that they see that combination as well. Baraka Motaro. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've literally never seen it here in competitive play as well, Vian. Mm -hmm. Like, I've genuinely never seen someone using Motaro with, like, Baraka, of all people. Fight. Oh, he said he picked the wrong character. Oh, <laughs> not like this. That sucks. Nice block on that, but for some reason, the friend lift can still come out on hit. But Tiger Girls, don't do that. <laughs> and Struggle Black, don't think I didn't see that. And there's the four guard from Milo. Oh, missing puts in a half. I know for a fact Milo did not mean to down back one right here. Now you're doing misery business. Welcome to the arena. Just a break. This time blocking the 4 3. Right now, the Baraka pick is working out, though. Milo was able to secure the life lead, but he has to close out the match now. Yeah. And the problem is, since he's running Motara like Baxen, and apparently, that means he can't really safely poke special. Oh, that does. Oh, no! That has to be a tournament nerves, yeah. Or well, even as I could say. And this time he does punish the mirrorless down for two and the bloody <laughs> Elmo with another five gift to Tsubo. What I'm, level are we in? I think we're level I'm seven. slowly getting emotional here. Thank you guys so much, Lady Elmo with another five bar. I think we are on a level seven hype train. I can't even remember the last time we had a hype train that big. Viel, I'm the the wig is laughing at me here. <laughs> yeah, like being close to uh, being forced into wearing it. 
and turn it to Hagrid again. It's just like so much gifted love. You guys are really so wholesome. Thank you for putting a smile on my face every single day. No matter how rough my day actually was, I press that go live button and I'm happy. We'll get spawned by the back too, but no pick up this time. He's gonna go for the next, isn't he? Yep. Oh, they, I saw that chameleon, uh, Melina disguise being on. And he's gonna spend both parties in me. It's the first one. Second one, and this is gonna kill. Oh, these smoke yes, combos, it is. Yeah, they still look fancy. We see a team Oh no. Goku! Oh, this oh this is getting toxic in no. here. Smoke weed. Oh Milo is pissed now. Milo, is it is it time for the gears? Might be, even though against Chameleon, that ain't the nicest thing to do because that J Glow is a huge problem for Gears. You know what's always, <laughs> you know what's oh, great uh, to see me. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I see that comment so often on YouTube as well when people say, you know what, MK is such a gory game and stuff like that. So we have the nicest and most loving community out there. Tigris, thank you so much for the five subs and. In game, we see tea bags, we see toxicity left and right. VL, it doesn't make sense on paper, but that's like you know, that's that's what the arena is all about. So, thank you guys so much for being here. And I can't find the user name I like. What a name! What a Twitch name! Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Oh, that smoke bomb barely missing. The tracking did not work. And we see, we do see the gears in the with Motaro, which means 900 health. I think Smotaro would please your health even more. Goku, looking comfortable after those t mm -hmm. And you know what, Chad? Even though we haven't had a game 5 so far, can we get some big AOs? Can we get a few emotes in the chat? Let's have a little party in here. It's Friday. That means everyone is supposed to have a good day. Wow, he actually still got punished for that. Uh-huh. Super plus. And there's the mix. Hi, Commander. Man, I'm missing mid command grab. Oh, oh, that's not oh, this is gonna do so much damage. Oh, he doesn't go. He might not go for it. Yeah, he's not going for the fable. That was not gonna kill. One makes one makes oh, away, and that was to one button too mm -hmm. much. Round two. It's a point for Goku trying to work on a sweep, and there's the countdown, and we see some missing puts from uh, Milo. I know he did not mean to go for that. Standing one or standing two. And the mix come in. Oh, we're matching down to Oh, we're panicking. Oh! I like the read Armor Milo tried to do. Yeah. I think, I think Goku tried to... Uh, was that, he actually did that as a rate of reading a block attempt. But since the armor of Gears is, has really bad, like, horizontal range, it still worked for uh, Goku. A big whiff on that, but he gets away with it. Still no more armor, and another yellow teleport, then it works again. This is gonna be very hard for that's Milo, it. and then that's, the, that, that's this it. match is over. Yeah, Goku, 3 0 mm -hmm. sweep, the cross jumps. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, the, the cross, oh no. <laughs> no, the cross up jumps, and that's it. 3 0 Not for like Goku this. over Milo. Smoke. What's up, Chad? Welcome to the Toxic Arena. Big Bad John with another gifted sub. We are on that big hype train right now. And we have a little treat for every single MK fan out there. Last match of the night. And this is going to be a wild one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Video games, yo, <laughs> versus Faisal Combat. And our chat is already saying, you know what, Rip? This next set is not good for my heart and i can understand why this one could be, it's gonna be a banger very likely video games yo and faisal literally two of the strongest players in the entire world and they're clashing against each other here in week three of our qualifier season let us see now Finally, the match every Mortal Kombat 1 fan is waiting for VL. Video games, yo, versus Faisal. And I can't even remember when they played each other the last time. I got a better question for you. What is Jordan doing on Baraka? I'm, 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 I'm. Wait, what? No, I didn't expect that. Okay, okay, yeah. He's using Baraka now with Chameleon against uh, Peacemaker. I'm very interested to see. 
And for striker, obviously. And we're already starting off with a torpedo. Oh, no. Video game <laughs> show, the only thing I want to say here, the YouTube community is not gonna like this one. Torpedo. I don't know how many torpedoes we're gonna see, but a lot of them. And we already seen like the eagerly uh, glitch important to use. So this glitch, uh, basically to explain you, uh, it's a glitch that allows you to uh, call eagerly twice on block. But only on block though. Torpedo. <laughs> torpedoing chameleon. Oh man. Faisal. Yeah, I swear. Do you think, like, it is a matchup thing, VL? The reason why video games you always go in Baraka? Well, first of all, like, he, with Chameleon, he has, like, an account his only tool. Baraka has, of course, really good range, so it's gonna help him, you know, keeping up with Peacemaker. His projectiles do, do a high, higher damage overall than Peacemaker's as well. I sent here, beautiful here with a standing one. There, see, there it is, the double, as the double eagerly on block. Which actually should not work, but you know. Go for the grab, Faisal is confident, taking the risk. 30%, carrying uh, if you want to the corner. And there's the yellow chop chop, because why not? We'll try to armor break, but there's a the piece, <laughs> there's a <the> torpedo again. <laughs> Eagly. More eagerly. I mean, Peacemaker has such a crazy good matchup okay. chart, in my opinion. Tools for literally Gross. every single character. Okay, and then Chameleon just got hit as well, which means even better damage for hit for Faison. Almost 40%. It's a Tries to shimmy. This and time, Faison wins. Yeah. Marvel, he might get chipped up pretty soon though. He charged it. Oh no! That is a oh, that is a dope combo. Nice, I'm yeah. seeing this conversion for the first time. Oh, he tried it. That's gonna be a torpedo. Yeah, of course, that <laughs> is the torpedo poodle. <laughs> Faisal, our arena champion, he is here tonight, doing it for the Middle East. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I think like Jordan went went for a hard win over Wake Up Torpedo, which, uh, which in, in that case it would have the Fatal Ball would have worked. Remember, all Fatal Balls in the game, as far as I know, have armor breaking properties. No character switch. You are sticking with Baraka. Yes, Vito yeah. Zio is trying it with Baraka still, even after that loss. Torpedo. <laughs> 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 yeah, that is the B and B round start for every peacemaker main round start torpedo. Oh, you are thinking shimmy, but not gonna get hit too much. But he gets caught walking right into that uh, EX back forward one. Yeah, look at the recovery on the, uh, the on the blow dart, which is really good. And Fraser gets shimmied this time. Did he go for the optimal? Oh, he tried it. He tried to optimize it. Nice block on the Chameleon Marvel. And, and she got hit, which means no breaker allowed. And that is going to be it. First run for Fraser. Are you satisfied? Round two. Fight. Torpedo. Oh, that, oh, that was wow, an he actually interesting gonna, sequence. <laughs> he got hit by the torpedo. He still was able to fan lift himself. And the mid eagerly, which is completely safe on block. Oh, the cooldown was still here. He's got a break, isn't he? Maybe. Oh, no, he's saving it. So, need to one, down back one. Jump one, four, down four, two. Huey in the chat is saying, I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is Faisal's year. He is going to take it all. I mean, he has what it takes to, to be a world champion. Look at that damage, by the way. That was 46, that was 45%. You see, like, VGR going for those stackers a lot. Sending two is plus on block. There's a plus block here. Nice block on the torpedo, but the striker. Ooh, that barely missed. Another torpedo, and there's the striker grenades. <laughs> Faisal, what is this boy doing? <laughs> it's torpedoes, bro. This is That's torpedo combat, VL. Yeah, this literally was turning to be.
Yeah, Law, you know, Bill, you, you know a thing or two about that. With that radium chameleon of yours. <laughs> So this is the potential last chance for video games yo to mm -hmm. go to a character switch. Yeah. I think he's not sick with Barker though. Yeah. He does, he is. yes, no switch. Mm -hmm. You couldn't live a day in my shoes. Why would I want to? Round one. Final chat prediction, uh, by the way. One through three, torpedo. Oh, no, nice one with punish. Yeah, that was a good trip guard. Yeah, that was really nice. Torpedo. Torpedo, 40%. Force field, eagerly. Yo, look how fast they recover. Just their recovery on the, on the force field is just insane. And once again, the Alfaisal has mm -hmm. the upper hand in this round. Yeah, he does, and he has no qualms taking those trades. And there's a slightly delayed breaker from VGY because Camilla has still had got his, so Jordan had to observe the um, the cooldown. And we waking up jump in law court or fashion. Wake up neutral jump round kick. Two. That point for Faisal. Back from Faisal here. Tries to open him up. Video Game Zero has to be so careful with every single button Ooh. he throws out. Mm -hmm. We'll get strong on that coming up this time on a high coming up. Sonic Boom, staying to Torpedo. To save the summer Eagle. Force field. Well, Faisal trying kind to of move immediately as he did his uh, force lift. That was kind of fail because Striker was already there anyway. Yeah, I yep. think. Gonna go for another. This is gonna... oh, not oh. enough. Oh, almost. Not enough, and but the there goal. it is. The poke special. Into Torpedo. Faisal. 3 0 mm -hmm. sweep in the right. arena tonight. That's Peacemaker is a problem, VL. We say it every single time. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> that, was, that was a crazy one. Mm -hmm. I have to say, every single match today, we had a lot of character variety, a lot of different matchups. I hope that you guys out there enjoyed it. But just like that, VL, you know the deal. Another mm -hmm. arena qualifier event has come to an end. And I want to say thank you very much to every single one out there for the super, super crazy support today, for having a blast with us here with the best MK1 players on planet Earth. And of course, VL, thank you so much for the great commentary as always. The database. Thank you very much for having me as always, man. Uh, Pleasure. This always. was a great one. And what we are going to do it was. is... We're going to send every single one of you over to the boy Honeybee. He is streaming right now. So be nice in the chat. Say hello. And of course, we're going to return tomorrow with one of our weekend events. I can't wait to catch you guys tomorrow again. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful day, wherever you are watching from right now. And we're going to be back very, very soon.